I'm gonna show you how to make your live streams look professional using OBS, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel and make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I go live to answer your YouTube questions. Okay, so we're gonna have to be in front of the computer for this one, but before we go, I wanna let you know that you wanna watch this entire video because I'm gonna hook you up with something for free. That's right, 100% free, zip zero, zilch, not a money out of your pocket because you're a subscriber and I want you to know I appreciate you. Okay, enough of that, let's go to the computer. Okay, so here we are at the computer and the very first thing that is extremely important when you are trying to make your live streams look professional is of course the actual camera or the camera quality that you're using. For my live streams, you can see, I'll put some links in the description to some of those, um, but you can see the quality that I get from the Logitech C922 webcam, which is actually what you're seeing this on right now as well. And another thing that is extremely important about making your live streams look professional is your background environment. Now, with mine, I like to set it to where, you know, it has kind of a mood to it, but the big idea for your background is just to make sure that it's nice and clean. Make sure that there's not junk all over the place and, you know, make sure it's not too distracting as far as, you know, detracting from the message that you're trying to share. Now, one thing that you can do for your live streams that can really help make your live stream look professional is you can add an intro to it just like you would if you were adding an intro to a video. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into your OBS sources menu down here on the left and you wanna click on the plus icon. And when you are doing this, just a little side note here, when you're doing this, one thing that you wanna make sure that you keep in mind is that you need a video file to work with. So you wanna make sure that you have already exported your intro out of your video editing software so that you can import it into OBS. So we're going to go into the media source option and I'm going to just type in intro and then now it's going to ask me where my intro is. Now, for me, when the intro comes in, I don't want it to keep playing. I don't want it to loop. So I wanna make sure that loop is not checked here in the box. And then I wanna browse for the actual intro itself. And here in my stream folder, I have an intro file that shows my intro. And I'm gonna show you basically how this would work. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna hit open, and then I'm gonna hit okay to close this box. Now, how this would work is let's say that we do an intro and, you know, basically the hook for our live stream. And we say, you know, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your OBS streams look professional. And we're starting right now. And then the intro would come in and then it disappears because I didn't, I didn't set it to loop. So basically it comes in, does the flash, and then it's out of there. So once again, it would be just like this. All you have to do is you turn it on and then you transition in whenever you want that intro to start playing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make OBS live streams look professional, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, okay, you see? So basically you can use that intro as just a short bumper that will transition you into the next scene of your live stream, or the next part of your live stream and still get your branding in there. Now, another thing you can do is you can add a lower third to your live stream that will help you introduce yourself or introduce, you know, who you are. In order to do that, I'm going to go through the same process. I'm going to go here and I'm going to add another media source. And we're going to call this one lower third. And then from there, I'm also going to browse for this. And we will go with this one. Okay, so as you can see here, this lower third now pops up on the screen and this is actually down here just at the bottom. And, I, and for this one, I'm actually wanting it to loop so that it actually stays on the screen. So as you can see here, when I didn't have that on, it basically played, then it disappeared. But now since I have it to loop, it's going to always be on the screen until I actually go through the process of turning it off. So with this lower third graphic, you know, next thing you wanna do is you wanna add some text to actually let people know, you know, let people know who you are. So here we are going to go into the text and I'm just going to put name and I'm gonna select the font. Here I'm gonna go ahead and use alternate Gothic and I'm gonna put it at, let's say 48 for the size. I'm gonna hit okay. And then I hit okay. Now, as you can see here, the name part is just not showing up. So I actually had to click transition for that to come in for some reason. 
And here I just basically want to drag it up to increase the size, bump it into place. And then now when I transition this in to the actual scene, then I have, you know, like a nice professional looking thing down here in the bottom that says who I am. And it also says what the stream is about. Now, one thing that you can do with these is you can also, let's say that you don't want your full name down there and you don't want all this other stuff, but you want an actual legit lower third. You can do the same thing by just moving this over to the side like this and then changing your text. And I'm going to change the name here and I'm just going to put my name on here. So we'll make this fill it up just a little bit more and then we will scoot this out as well so it's framed in there nicely. And then when we transition that in, then this way it is just a simple name that comes in. So as you're, you know, as you're streaming and you can do this, you know, in a multitude of colors or anything like that. So basically the reason for this and, and to, the reason to add a lower third to your videos and you can add, you know, you can add your name, you can add your name plus your website, your name plus your YouTube channel or anything like that. But the advantage of this is basically it lets people that are not familiar with you yet know who you are. So to get that out of there, I'm going to go ahead and just turn those off and then I'm going to click transition so that it is no longer in our scene. Another thing that you can do here to make your live streams look more professional in addition to the camera in addition to making your background look nice, in addition to adding your intro and a nice looking lower third, is you can also add other graphics to your scene. So in order to do that, um, I actually made another video about how to do an actual ticker on the bottom. I'll put a link to that up at the top of the screen right now. Um, but you can also just add the images in here by themselves. Whatever it is you know that you wanna put on your, on your image, then here, you know, just a little reminder for people to subscribe to the channel. And another one that I can add here, uh, like I did before, is I can also add the, the ticker background. And then, you know, the text would be scrolling on this, which I have, which is something that I show you how to set up in that other video. But let's say that we don't want to do that particular, you know, ticker setup, you know, which you could also use that lower third graphic for, by the way. But let's say you don't want to use that ticker setup. Um, another thing that you could do is you can add your social media, a social media slide show. So basically what you do is you go ahead and you make some graphics for, you know, your Twitter account, for your Instagram account, for your Snapchat account, or your website, anything that you want to promote really. And you can actually have those slide across the screen um, in random intervals uh, during your live stream. So, you know, without even having to do anything. So all you have to do is you, you set it up first and I'm just going to call this social media. And here for the transition, I'm actually going to change it to a slide instead of a fade. But, you know, depending on how you like things to look, you can definitely change this to anything that you would prefer to, to, to make it. Next, I'm going to add the different image files. In mine, I've already made these. So I'm going to add all three of those in here. And as you can see, it's now going to make these slide across my screen in random uh, intervals. So one thing that you can do is, of course, you know, you can move this frame so that this is at the very bottom of your screen so it's not as distracting. Um, another thing that you can do that I found is if you want to have these come on your screen sometimes, but not a lot, like let's say that you want, you know, a nice space between all of the different uh, social media tags, then all you have to do is you go into your properties for that and you also add some blank files as well. And by doing that, it makes all of this not as distracting. So I'm going to add just a few more just so I can show you the effect that this has on how everything is scrolling through. Okay, so now that we've changed that, what happens is, let me transition in, is basically you have a blank space in between your social media tags. So when they do come in just like that, it makes a little bit more of an impact when it comes in. So that's another thing that you can do to help make your streams look more professional. And in addition to that, you know, you can use it to promote your social media accounts. You can use it to promote whatever other stuff that you happen to be working on or, you know, anything else that's coming up in the future or really anything that you want. And of course, when a live stream ends, it helps make it look more professional. You know, if you think of it just like it's a normal video on YouTube. So as an example, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to add another image. And this image is actually my end screen. So I'm going to add this end screen, just like I normally do. So that when my stream is over, or when it's getting ready to be over, I would basically prepare it like this. I would scoot over, you know, so that I can frame myself in the graphic, you know, a little bit better, like you can see here. 
then I would transition it in and I would say, if you are not already subscribed, make sure that you hit the round subscribe icon right now so you don't miss any videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. So basically you end it just like you would a normal video so that when you're finished with your stream, you can go into YouTube, you can cut off any end parts or anything like that so that you can still utilize your end screen graphic. If you currently do not have end screen graphics, but you want them or you want custom branding for your channel, you can get all of that over at tubertools.com. I'll put a link to that down in the description below. Now, what I mentioned before is that I'm going to be giving something away in this live stream. I'm actually going to be giving away three things in this live stream. All three of them are actually the lower third graphics that you see here. Basically, it's just a simple lower third graphic with a little shine going across it. I made this one so that it, you know, so maybe for the gamers out there, because I know I don't do a lot for you gamers out there. I also have another one um, that has a different look to it. And you're basically getting all of these. This one is more of a, you know, light leak fade in and out, which is pretty cool. And I have another one that is just a little bit more basic, the same idea. And that one looks like this to where, you know, it's just a, a more of a plain one. So you can still put your text on there and things like that, but it's still got that motion to it. And as long as you're using OBS, this is definitely gonna work. You can see it right here on my screen that it'll definitely work for you as well. In order to get this, as soon as this video is finished, you want to go down into the description and you wanna look for a link that says, join my VIP area. It's absolutely free and you join that and inside you will be able to download these lower third graphics. If you are not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the round subscribe icon right now so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.